Alright then gang, so we saw in the last lesson how we took all of this logic out of the home component and we externalized it into a separate blog list component and we passed props into that component, the data which it uses. And I said that externalizing all of that logic into a different component makes that code more reusable. And it does. We can reuse this component in different places in our application now where we need it. And we can pass different data into it each time. So let me demonstrate this. What I'm going to do is duplicate this blog list component. So we have one after the other. Now, the top one is taken in all of the blogs and the title is all blogs. And then the second one, I'm going to change the title to Mario's blogs. And then over here, we're going to pass in some different data. And all I'm going to do is filter this array, the blogs array. So we'll take out the blogs, which doesn't have an author of Mario. So this one right here. So then we're only going to show Mario's blogs inside this component. So the way to do that is by using the filter method on the blogs. So we're doing this directly inside the prop value blogs.filter and this filter method fires a callback function for each item in the array. Now if we return true for that item it keeps it in the array and if we return false it filters it out of the array and then it returns a new array with only the items that we don't filter out of it included and we're passing that data in then as a prop. Now what we want to do is therefore return true for this because that's Mario's and true for this, but false for this. So it filters it out of the blogs array. So we take in the blog right here as an argument. Let's do that. And then we just want to return a Boolean true or false. So I'm going to say blog author. That's this property right here is equal to or triple equals to Mario. So this is going to return true for this and this but false for this. So it filters this out of the array. And that new filtered array is being passed through as the blogs data into this component. So the first time around at the top, it's going to be all of them. And then underneath, it's just going to be Mario's blogs. So you see how this blog list component can be reused, but we can use it with different data. And that makes it really useful for doing things like a search page, whereby the title matches the search term, for example. All right, so let's save this and make sure it works. So we see all the blogs at the top, all three of them. And then down here, we only see Mario's blogs. All right, then. So next up, I'm going to show you how we can update the state by deleting items from this array.